what I eat in a day video. This video is going to be focused on higher protein recipes. There are gonna be some eggs in this video, so I will give you vegan alternatives if you do follow a vegan diet. And if you hear that background noise, it's Trevi eating a little <laughs> to-go container. She's looking out our leftovers. So she's just gonna be loud over there. Um, but we're gonna start with breakfast. This breakfast that I've been making recently has been so good. I eat it almost every single morning. It's a sprouted English muffin with two eggs and some spinach, and it's just like the perfect breakfast sandwich. It's got a bunch of fiber, protein, and it keeps me full until lunch. Part of this video is also gonna be sponsored by Emmy, and I'll be sharing a little bit more about them later on in this video, but I'm excited to show you their products because they are really high in protein, perfect for plant-based eaters, and they're delicious. So let's get into making breakfast, and then I'll see you at the end of it. First things first is to toast your English muffin. You can use any kind of English muffin. You could also just use sandwich bread if you wanted. And then once that is in the toaster cooking away, we are gonna start by sauteing some greens. I personally like to use spinach. You guys know I like spinach pretty much in any type of breakfast form. I just find it to be the most mild green. But if you don't have spinach or you wanna use something else, kale would work, Swiss chard would work, collards, etc. Basically, all we're gonna do is just cook the greens down until they have wilted, and I like to use about half of a cup per sandwich. So once they are wilting away, I'm gonna just beat together two eggs. And again, if you are plant-based, you can use tofu instead and just skip this part. So crack your eggs, beat them together, and then pour them directly over the spinach. Use the pan to kind of swirl it around so that you have an even layer of the eggs on the bottom. Let that cook until the eggs are mostly set on top. Cook it on the other side until they're fully done, and then I like to fold it in fourths. So now I have kind of this triangle. I'm just gonna trim the corners off so that it has kind of a circular shape, and that's gonna be my sandwich. I'll put a slice of dairy-free cheese on top sometimes. I did today. And then it's time to serve up the English muffin. So I like to put some olive oil or butter on the English muffin first. I love Miyoko's, they're really good. And then I top it with the eggs and the cheese and hot sauce and that is my sandwich. It is seriously so simple, so quick, also freezer friendly and really, really good. Okay, so this portion of the video is sponsored by Emmy, and they are a healthy plant-based ramen company, and they have this amazing variety of ramen. They are all 100% vegan, plant-based. They have three amazing flavors. They have the black garlic chicken, the tom yum shrimp, and the spicy beef and they are made with a protein noodle, so they are low carb and high protein. Each one of these has about 20 grams of protein per packet, so I'm gonna make one of these. I think I'm gonna go with the chicken. Chicken ramen was like always one of my favorite things when I was growing up, so I'm gonna make this. It's really easy. You just boil up the noodles and use the little packet that's inside, and you could add extra protein if you wanted. You could add like vegan shrimp or chicken. You could add regular shrimp or chicken. I'm gonna probably just add broccoli. Um, it would also be really good with soft boiled egg, but I already had two eggs today, so I'm just gonna do the boiled up noodles with some broccoli. And this actually, the chicken one has 22 grams of protein and six grams of net carbs. So if you do wanna try Emmy, I have a link down below. It will get you $5 off the variety pack. Highly recommend both Matt and myself have been eating them and we both love them. They, I will mention, are not gluten-free. So if you do have a gluten allergy, these are not gluten-free, but they are totally plant-based and they are delicious. So let's make it. So Imi, honestly, it could not be easier to make. All you have to do is bring two cups of water or vegetable broth to a boil, add in the noodles, and they cook for about seven minutes. Once I hit the five minute mark on my timer, I added in my vegetables. Today I did shredded kale and frozen broccoli, but you could honestly do any kind of vegetables that you wanted. And again, you could also add some protein, extra protein if you wanted as well, but don't forget they're 
noodles themselves are really high in protein. So you don't need to add extra protein. But once it has fully cooked and the noodles are soft, they actually have a really kind of nice, almost not crunchy, but like they have a really cool texture that I find really enjoyable to eat. Um, but basically all you have to do then is just transfer it into your bowl. I like to top mine with some hot sauce. I have a maple sriracha, which is delish. And that is lunch. How easy was that? Literally took about eight minutes to make. All right, don't mind the vacuum behind me, but entice this ramen. Mm. So I'm gonna get started on dinner a little bit early because we both have a busy afternoon and I'm just gonna cook it so that we can just reheat it for later. So we are, or I am, <laughs> I'm cooking dinner tonight and I'm just gonna make something super random because we're trying to use what we have left in the kitchen here before we go back to New York. So I'm basically just digging through my pantry. I have diced tomatoes, great Northern beans, and then I have a package of tempeh. So I think what I'm gonna do is basically just kind of saute everything together with some dried herbs, some lemon, garlic, and make this kind of like stewy thing and then either serve it over greens or maybe put it on like a pasta. Um, I'll probably end up going with greens just because it's the easiest thing, but Matt might make pasta, we'll see. So I'm basically just gonna like throw it all in a pan and see what happens. Okay, finally for our dinner, basically all I'm gonna do is pour in a can of tomatoes, pour in the Great Northern beans as well as the crumbled up tempeh. So I basically just took a block of tempeh and used my fingers to crumble it up, toss that together and saute it for like a minute or two. From there, I'm going to add in my garlic. I use a garlic press. I did two big cloves of garlic. And then I added in some chopped up sun-dried tomato. I had some extra of this from a pasta I made the other week. And honestly, this changed the game of this dish. It was so good. Also to that, I added pepper flakes for heat, Italian seasoning, and then some seasoning salt. Then basically I just sauteed this until I felt like everything was flavorful enough. Okay, so I actually just realized I have a ton of frozen spinach in my freezer. So for the greens, I'm just gonna add it in here and I'm basically just gonna eat this like a bowl of, I don't know what you would call it, but I'm gonna serve some of this and then I think I'm gonna sprinkle on some feta to give it a little bit of brine. I use a dairy-free feta, which is delish, and that's gonna be that. And then once I had the giant batch of spinach done and wilted and cooked in, I was ready to serve up the dish. And again, I used a little bit of vegan feta on top. It would also be great with olives if you don't have feta that just adds something like a salty brininess. The dish kind of needs that to brighten it up, but so simple and so good. All right, let's taste, shall we? It is smelling delish. Hmm. Adding the sun-dried tomatoes really helped. It gives it like a little bit more salt, a little bit more sweetness, but also like just a really more like a kind of an earthier flavor. Mm. And the feta on top is very good. Adds even like more saltiness and brine. Yum, what a nice little pleasant surprise. Mm. Delicious, yum. I can't wait to eat this whole bowl. All right, friends, so that concludes today's high protein what I eat in a day video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna do or wanna see more kind of like themed videos like this, maybe I'm focusing on a macronutrient like I am with this protein video or if you want like five minute meals or I was also thinking of one that was like buying like packaged food that was healthier and giving that as an option. So just let me know what kind of videos you wanna see. Today's eats were quite delicious. I'll write recipes down in the caption and also don't forget to check out Immy. They are awesome. That ramen was so good. Great way to get in some protein in like obviously a very comfort food way. You can find their info down below and there's a link that gets you $5 off a variety pack. So highly recommend picking that up. And as always, I just appreciate you being here and watching. If you are not yet part of our subscriber community here, tap the red button that is right below this video. That will subscribe you. And otherwise, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.